Welcome back team. In this video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the identity column. In our last lesson, um, we went out and we created a table and we set the starting value to 11 and the incrementer by 307. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to put in our own values. Set identity insert with the table name to on allows you the ability to insert specific values. In our last lesson, when we did the insert command, notice that I did not use the ID column. The ID is the identity column because it automatically creates the value. Here we're saying to SQL Server, hey, I'm going to give you the values. You don't have to use your auto creator. Now, if I do not set this on and I try to execute this command, I'm going to get an error and it's going to say, hey, you don't have permission to use uh, this because it's currently set to off SQL servers uh, doing it. But if I execute this command and then, then execute this insert, notice put two rows in there for me. And now I do a select. Notice I have my 15 and 25. So the on gives the user, the programmer, the ability to insert uh, the values that they want. Now, this is a global thing. And what that means is now that you've turned it on, that means anyone else doing inserts into this table, they got to supply the ID or they're going to get that error you just saw. So we immediately want to turn that back off and let SQL Server control the uh, identity column. Now, the second thing we need to look at about the identity column is what happens when we delete all the data. And currently, let's take a look at the data. It starts at 11 and it goes down to 1546. But when I delete all that data, well, all the data goes away. Unfortunately, the identity column doesn't. So it's going to use that last value. And when we do the next insert, it's going to just continue from there. Notice 1853. So that was 307 from that previous number. So how do we reset that value and kind of like delete all this data and kind of like start over? How do we do that? Well, the first thing you have to do is delete all that data. And then you have to do this DBCC check, ident, the table name, reseed it with some starting value. Here, I'm going to start at 1. And I execute that. And it showed me that my last value was 3388. But now we're going to start over. And I'm going to do an insert statement. And when I select this, Started off 1 plus 307 is 308. So dbcc check ident allows you to reseed that value to start it over. But of course, I had to delete all the data. So you have to proceed with caution when you have an identity column and you want to take over and insert your own values or kind of start over with the. Uh, dbcc check ident. There you have it, the identity column. 